So the second principle that we talk about here seems fairly straightforward, but it can be where a lot of agents get tripped up and don't spend enough time asking the right questions. It's around organizational alignment. The thing that we want to ask around each one of these bullets is, is my brokerage supporting me? Are they doing the things that align with my vision, with my direction for my business? And are they constantly evolving with me? The first is with communication. I'll use the example of you call your doctor's office or you call a retailer and you give a detailed backstory, a, all the information, all of your where you live, what you're about, all of that. And then you get transferred to somebody else and then all of a sudden they're asking you for the same exact information. So how does this match up with your real estate brokerage? First of all, on your team and your brokerage, are you asking your clients, your leads, uh, somebody who you're trying to do business with for the same information multiple times? Are they registering on your website? Are they giving it to somebody in your brokerage and the information is not finding you? So this is very broad. The communication that is coming in and out of your team, your brokerage, their point of contact with your client. Your client or your lead or your potential client, they don't care if the person they were talking to is affiliated with your brokerage and not your office or not your team. They want to give the information once. They want to provide, if they provide it online, they want you to have it when they speak or meet with you. Uh, so making sure that your communication is streamlined in the uh, touches with your leads or your clients. You, the last thing you need is upsetting or losing a client because they're getting mixed messages or they're having to input the same information in multiple screens, in multiple formats, uh, and you are not uh, receiving what they are submitting to you. The other thing around communication that's important to consider and this ties in a little bit to brand, is how is your brokerage marketed within your geographic area where you're looking to do business? Are you a brokerage that will market itself as a luxury brokerage or the top of the line properties? And then when you go for your listing presentation, are you, are you kind of taking things off the table, saying that you're a discount broker or vice versa. Uh, there's that mixed message that uh, goes in both the communication and the brand piece. So making sure that your brokerage matches what you want to do. If you want to be a luxury broker, it's tough to go with uh, the brokerage that people know as the 2% broker or the uh, discount broker. So making sure that what you are marketing, what you're branding aligns with the things that your brokerage is telling others or potential clients about you, about your business. Likewise, the culture on your team in your business doesn't match your brokerage. Is there, if you're looking for a collaborative environment, is that present? Is that always present? How do they support that? How does your brokerage support you, support your team members, uh, help you collaborate with others if you want that? If you're looking for uh, a training culture, if you're looking for a culture where new agents are welcome, new agents have a mentoring program, Whatever that is, whatever you're looking for, whatever is the best fit for you and your team, is it present? And these are not static things. This changes over time, like a lot of the things that we're going to see in this course. So you should constantly be asking the communication piece, both internally in, inside our brokerage and externally with leads and, and clients. Is it getting the right messages to them about my business, my team, my brokerage? Same with the culture. Is this the group, the organization I want to be with and the brand? How are portrayed in the market when I may not be the one speaking, when there's a website, there's marketing materials, social media, and all of those things? Does it align with my vision, my values that I set up in principle one for how I want to run my business? So you always want to be checking in on those things. Sometimes you'll have some say. Some brokerages will be very uh, interested in what their top producers or what their new folks tell them about culture, brand, and marketing. Uh, so have those dialogues. When you have layers of management, sometimes that's helpful because there is direct oversight. A lot of times, though, that can lead to micromanaging. So making sure that if you do have the office management structure, that it supports these things as well as everything from principle one to make sure your mission is supported, your vision and values are aligned with what your brokerage puts out in the community and in the office, and that your marketing and branding efforts support those things that are important to you your leads, your clients.